Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to the next episode of the 100 Mod Let's Play. We are diving back in with an absolutely incredible last stand. 1,800 Azerite soldiers now sit beyond our castle, ready to pillage the lands that we actually pillaged from them. But we don't talk about that. We have 551 of the strongest men of Valandia. And today, my friends, today we will make our stand live or die. This is where we hold them. Okay, so here we go. We've set up our formation as best as we can. We have one little division out here and we'll stick these guys into a shield wall as well so we can basically better hold the, the defenses. We'll stick you guys into a shield wall on the, uh, the ladder there. It's going to be a real Really close battle. We just need to make sure we can't we can't have them in the settlement. We're immediately going to give over our archers to be AI so they can split up and do their thing. And then I'm going to take these 85 men outside the settlement and we're going to hold the battering ram right here and basically just hope for the best. Uh, I don't really know Soldier! exactly if it's going to be doable, but we need it to be doable. Otherwise, yeah, we're not in a good spot whatsoever. So let's give over our archers Soldiers, to be AI. They should now take command of them. You guys are in a line, which is good. Yeah, you can see all the extra archer divisions get made, which is good. We're going to open up the, uh, the yeah. gate. Okay, the boys are coming out, which is perfect. We really need them to hold the line and then form a shield wall. You guys basically just need to stop the enemy from pushing through here uh, as best as you can. We'll, we'll, we'll set up a line here, hold the missile line, and then we just have to hope that the other, the other positions hold. That's really all we can do with the missile fire coming out. The archers are already spread out in a pretty good defensive position, honestly. The artillery is firing. Uh, we are currently all the way over here, which is fine. Again, they also have the gatehouse as well. They also have the gatehouse. Uh, I mean, I hope that they don't close these. These will be annoying if they do. But okay, if we have to do anything. Okay, so out here we are. We're going to try and snipe a few people with our archery skill. Again, we're going to be getting hit by missiles as well. But I think it's fine. The artillery coming in. They have a lot of archers. Though. Maybe we should pull back a little bit. We're just like kind of almost dying for no reason here. Yeah, let's pull back a little bit with our RMG line. Because, yeah, their missiles are doing some decent damage. And, obviously, every casualty really does matter. And, to be fair, we do just need to be able to defend this position here. So, let's go all the way back to the gatehouse. Why not? Yeah, let's go all the way back to the gatehouse here. That's literally all we need to be able to defend. So, it's fine. And then we'll reform. Our archery is still here. We're going to pull out our, our big handed mace and just try and smash some heads in. Make sure we don't mess up any handle hits. We're not really great with the two-handed mace either. But it's fine. We should be able to kill these guys and then destroy the other positions. Again, when they start coming up the ladders, that's going to be scary. Hopefully, the reinforcements for everybody else does also fill in uh, nicely. We just need to basically get out of range of their missiles and then come in. Every hit of our missiles is good. We also have this our little bodyguard as well, which is nice. There you go. Nice damage. Yeah, our bodyguard could even get out here as well. We don't really do tons of damage to it, but we encourage him out a little bit. And if I had someone else on the artillery, it'd be amazing. It's annoying. Like, I wish we did have like a co-op mode because having a co-op mode would be amazing. Look at this as well. Look at us hold the line here. That is glorious. The last stand. Jackie Fish and the boys right here. That looks incredible. Yeah, we're just going to let keep on letting them push up that battering ram. How are we doing on the flanks? We're holding. Yeah, I think we're holding on both flanks right now. This left hand side is looking a little bit shakier but not something we, we can't deal with. And we just need to get ready to, to hit these guys back as they come once again. I think we're, we're dealing enough damage to them. Here they come. They're pushing us. I guess I will look to do some damage to this. I wish I had like a better axe or something. They can't push through us here as well. Right now, we are just hitting them. We are doing damage to it. Okay, we got the battering ram down to like half HP. I'm just really nervous about telling our boys to attack. Like I could do this and tell them to attack this. I think we're going to do it actually. Let's see if it does anything. We might have to fall back. Are they going to be enough to attack it? Oh, they're not really attacking it, are they? They're just like stopping it. How are we doing on the flanks as well? Fine on this right hand side. The left hand side is what I'm a little bit scared of. But again, fine. I think we've done enough damage to their infantry, but we're just not really much of a problem. Start destroying this. Maybe throwing some rocks down on it wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's destroy the uh, the armor to the roof. 
But that, that seems, seemingly goes down very easily. And that'll be armor on the roof. We're in a good spot. Continues to stop them here again. We just cannot let them through. The defensive positions here. Obviously, we need to make sure we don't die. That axe is doing some good damage to us as well. Got a few of them. I wouldn't mind picking up back, to be honest. I need to, like, get a much better... Pick up this axe and maybe a shield as well. Because this axe probably does way more damage than a batting ram. No, it does way less. Okay, pull back, pull back, pull back. We got reinforcement spawning now, and we need this... I think some boys are attacking this. Yeah, we are getting some attacks in on this, I guess. If we do manage to defeat this as well, we might be in a very good spot. Okay, here we go. The ram is going down. Okay, is that going to force him in? It's going to force him in. Hold the line, hold the line, hold the line. Okay, this is going to be a big fight here. We need to win this. The archers should be helping out as we continue to fire. They are. Let's keep on going. Oh, I killed some light infantry right there. Hoping it's going to be a clean victory. We need to get these kills off here ASAP. Make sure we don't get hit there. Yeah, just break in his skull. Kill two for one there. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah, that was a good little exchange right there. Our left flank is getting a little bit shaky. Let's get over there ASAP to help out. I do not want them out flanking me. Which is seemingly they are doing. So let's try and help out as best as we can. This is when we lose men here. Getting too many handle hits here. Reinforcements are arriving, though. I just need to break them so I can reform. I need to break them here so I can reform. And then we can help out. We've got a few too many of them over here on me. Pull back, just pull back, just pull back. Shield to protect me. Continue to clear up the flank. Defend here, defend here. Upwards, upwards, upwards. Okay, here we go. Getting some good damage now on them. Yeah, this mace is able to just output a lot of damage if you get the right hit. The fact that they managed to outflank me, though, was not good. And we're already starting to move and come through. No, you guys are friendly or not? You're not friendly. Get the hell out of my settlement. We got an archer there. Nice, they covered that. Good, good, good. Okay, that's really big. We killed. Yeah, we, we did a lot of damage there. Now I can reform. We just need to break the last of them. A lot of them are routing as well as they fail here. I just need to reform. I still have my men on targeting the uh, siege tower. So when it broke, they went on and were a lot more aggressive than they needed to be. Okay, there's another one taken care of. Okay, you guys reform now. That is big. I mean, again, they're going to get reinforcements in constantly. Their numbers are going to keep on reinforcing. They have another, like, 1,100 men. We're defending here amazingly. There's nothing they can do up here. Our boys are in a great position. The left-hand side, again, kind of worried me, but seemingly, again, we are just holding the line. Shield walls. Shield walls don't give them the option to really get enough men in. The javelins are failing very nicely. And our archers, even though they might be running out of ammunition, can cover us perfectly here as the enemy assault. And now that we are reformed here... I think, I think there's, the enemy is going to be hard pressed to break us here to our advantage. And the only reason, by the way, as well, we're able to do this is because of the sheer quality of our men. This is the, the best army that Vlandia has to offer. All of these soldiers are tier six. And again, as the battle goes on, as I've mentioned many times through this episode. Oh my God, he got me. He broke my guard. I'm down. That's not good. So we can now defend the gate, I guess. Oh, sorry, the walls. But yeah, as I keep on saying, the only reason this is possible is because these guys are able to keep on defending and keep on holding. I need to get out of here, though. I need to get to the front lines. Let's head our way over. Oh, this breach point isn't actually defended. Okay. No wonder it's a little bit scary over here. I don't really have the time to reform, though. So I guess I'm just going to sit here and try and defend this side as best as I can. We do also have a spear. I just cannot let them in. Let's push them back. Some of our axes are helping. Can I push this? I'm just not sure how much damage I'm doing. Every time we lag, it's like more. Oh no, I fell! 
Okay. We're now on the right-hand side. We're now on the right-hand side after uh, unfortunately falling to our death. This side does not need our help. How's the center looking? The center is still holding and actually reinforcing quite nicely. Yeah, the enemy is just filtering in now as more soldiers spawn and then come to their death, which does give us the opportunity uh, to maybe throw... Oh, we were actually all out of rocks. It's a shame. It's a real shame. But we're fine here. We don't need to be here. And all as we kind of go down the ranks, you guys can just see our archers hammering in on them. The boys are holding. I mean, this is... Castles are designed to hold the line. Castles aren't supposed to be taken easily. And right now, the AI is falling into our trap. You know, back in, back in medieval times, in a lot of the, the, the well-fortified castles, you know, 50 men could hold against tens of thousands of men. We have our catapult still up. The other side. Yeah, how's it going, John? I'm doing good, thank you, my man. How you doing? That left-hand side looks a little bit scary. Besides that, though, we're good. Unfortunately, we're all out of ammunition on this artillery piece now. I think it's done enough. And are they breaking? They're breaking. Look at that. We've killed a thousand. So they still have a lot more soldiers left if they want to commit them. But maybe the AI is just going to commit to, to not doing that and just be like, okay, yeah, you've got us here. Let's fall back. They are breaking here, though. Okay, they've got us a little bit here. Let's pull out our, 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 our mace. Slam this guy on the head. Good, he's down. Let's make our way back in now. Um, and boom, there you go. The enemy are completely broken. Victory is ours. They actually only committed under half of their men to this fight. 500 dead. 500 wounded. And then, I guess, 250 retreated. And they didn't decide to spawn in the other 400. They decided enough was enough. Man, what a battle. A thousand kills. Who racked up the most? Let's have a look. I got 26. This guy got 19. 50 kills on the Helios guard. 186 kills on the Palantine guard. 120 on the crossbows. Very nice. And all of these guys as well. Leveling up. Man, that was a crazy battle. Nice, it didn't crash. I don't think there's anything too great here. I mean, I won't probably take the Camel Rider. But I'm going to give up the rest of these guys. And I got 700 prisoners. I mean, what do we even want from this prisoner pool? What can we even take from this prisoner pool? We'll recruit the Apex Predator. We'll upgrade everybody we have. Yeah, tons more Helios Guard, more Cavalry, more Palantine Guard. I like as well how we basically converted a large portion of our army into Imperial forces now. <laughs> That's just us. Uh, I mean, all these Mamluk elites would be amazing. We're already over our limit as well. So I guess we're going to have to give them up. There's no way we make it back anywhere. Oh, and some big weaponry. I don't really need any weaponry. I guess we could look at changing up our siege defense a little bit, I guess. Because that mace doesn't really seem like it's cutting. I mean, it's good, but it's not crazy. And like this archery stuff, I don't really care too much for. Some good camels as well. We'll take the camels, of course. And there's camel armor as well. I mean, I might end up becoming a camel lord, you know. Lots of camels on the battlefield. I'll take the mules and the horses. How many horses do you think we have now? A lot. And then a bunch of, yeah, camel armor and stuff. We'll take that, I guess. Nice. We got a, some more two-handed skill, which is a skill we desperately do need to get up. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, more damage to shields or mounts. Mounts, 100%, because we hit a lot more mounts with our glaive. I mean, our archery actually finally went up as well. Um, and then we will definitely take headshot and agility with archers. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, and we also have some focus points. I'm going to stick these focus points into this, but I can't for some reason. Yeah, it won't let me invest focus points. I don't know what's up with that. Either way, we have a few more points. Let's stick one more there. And I guess one more there as well. Very nice indeed. Yeah, we can also go after this 226-man army. I doubt it will look to engage us, though. Because the main goal of this campaign is to take this. I want to basically conquer... Oh, Durhart's sieging this in the south as well, which is good. Yeah, I basically want to conquer these two settlements. And then I have a very nice little stronghold right here. Like these, we have a castle city, castle city. And then maybe this just to protect our, our eastern border a bit. And then we're just in a really good spot. Uh, but we'll siege. Well, yeah, let's, let's siege this whilst we're waiting as well. Ideally, we want them to sally out. If not, 
we wanted to starve them out because these armies should all starve to death along with the garrison. And they're going to go attack off. This is the problem. Like, they're going to keep on sending these small armies to harass our forts. And until they're strong enough, we can't really deal with that. So I guess we're going to build a siege camp, see if they're going to attack us. And if not, we're going to have to go just lift the siege of our castle again. I mean, so far, things are fine. Like, I'm, I'm happy doing this. I'm happy exchanging, uh, you know, battles and killing armies and making money. We're already up to 700k as well. Making an incredible amount of money from all of our dimensions, our villages. Oh my god, we build artillery so slowly. That was insane. I mean, I guess we have no engineering skill, but still. It would have been nice to be able to build that, but it's fine. Gotta stop the siege in our settlement. Did they immediately break it? Oh, they did as well. How dare they? It's fine. We're building up a garrison here. It's going to be able to defend itself one day. And now Durhar can come down as well. We need to make sure that Durhar doesn't get to that city before us. Oh my! Durhar is well and truly called the banners. Look at that! How does he have so many people here? That is insane. Look at him just march across the map with all the boys. He is a crazy, crazy boy. Uh, yeah, he's... So this is the problem here. Durhar is coming down to siege this, and we need to stop it. They're also sieging back in the north. Oh, we can trap these guys, though, right? Or not? What do you want? Oh, nice. We did. Durhar isn't helping us out here, though. It's kind of snide. But not like we need it. Okay, let's give it a go. They, we have similar numbers. They actually, like, numbers. They actually do have pretty good quality, though. 500 men in the balance of power bar isn't massively in our favor. I mean, of course, we're going to be able to win this battle. Our army's too good to lose. But still, we might take unnecessary casualties. We just need to make sure that we are the first people to the city in the south so we can siege it first. Okay, 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 okay. So now we've set our, our formation up now. We should be good. The archers can start harassing them. I don't think they're going to come at us, right? Yeah, they're, they're holding their line for there. They've got a pretty nice cavalry line, lots of camels back there, which are a bit scary. Uh, but our missiles are able to harass them, kind of keep them at bay for a bit. As I said, our main goal... Troops! Here is just to encourage them Move into this gap and then the close troops. the vice. I don't know how well it's going to go. Soldier, I'm going to get my cavalry to go and stop these guys for now. Because I know I'm going to get hit in the flank here. But if my cavalry can deal with them, with, our, with support of our missiles, then the vice should work out perfectly. The cavalry has gone a bit too far. I'm not going to lie. We have delved deep into their lines. But it should be okay. You know, like, how bad can it be, realistically? How many horses can we lose? Let's try and take out as many of these riders as we can whilst we're here. Okay, the AI is just so scared of attacking me. It's kind of annoying. This formation looks perfectly pleasant to attack. And the AI is just refusing to. It's fine now, right? Yeah, it's fine now. Let's pull back. Okay, so the AI seemingly refuses to help us out here. So we're going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to try and do the exact same strategy. Uh, but I'm going to do it at them, if that makes sense. So we're going to get close enough to them that they're going to want to try and stop us here. And I'm just hoping that their, their formation is going to wheel in between my pipe and grip. And we can just close it and envelop them. It'd be better as well if we had like another formation here. But I think the archers will be fine. It's just I'm a little bit scared that they're not going to attack me. Uh, we do need to be in shield wall though on both our formations. So set back up again. Yeah, and this cavalry charge from behind is going to be painful. Here they come. Okay, good, good, good. They're coming now. They're coming. Archers here. They're just splitting both. The AI is too smart for me. The AI is too smart for me. Luckily, we're killing their cavalry boat quite nicely. Okay, let's wrap around. Okay, we can still make this work. We need What we need to do now is get our missiles and just lob them in the middle. Because as you can see, they're bulking up here on the side of my formations and here. If I can get my missiles like in the middle here, they can basically just start like full on demon huntering, shooting around them in every single way. We still have to worry about the cavalry, but besides that, we should be okay. The camels are going to be doing a lot of damage as they smash into us. Okay, the crossbows are now in position and they should be able to fire. And the nice thing is as well. Oh my God, we got a fire pot thrower as well. That guy's throwing fire pots. What an absolute mad lad. 
I'm actually losing a few more men than I would like. It's fine. Broken shield. Crossbow is coming in nicely. The cavalry charging, cavalry should be charging. Go after their missiles whilst we're here. Seemingly already doing a pretty good job. Yeah, we should uh, get a little bit deeper with our weapon. There we go. That's what we want to see. Infantry charge. Infantry charge. We're going to go aggressive now. Try and really close the vice and grip. And we're going to bring our missiles up here as well. So it didn't work as perfectly as we wanted to, but we adapted. And that's the main thing. You adapt to the situation. And by adapting to the situation, you can never lose. That's a Jackie Fish guarantee. Yeah, they're reforming more men. But we're just being aggressive now. Charge. That was one. 200 men left. I take that back. We actually only have 300 men. We actually don't have that many. But as we engage here, we're just going to route them, I think, very quickly. Yeah, the reinforcements are spawning. Uh, not, not big whatsoever. Hey, how's it going, Gabriel? Welcome, welcome, welcome. They're just running? What the hell are they up to? Yeah, they're all peasants now, so... Easy cleanup. Even our weaker soldiers should be enough to, to finish them up. There's the red line. Easy victory. We did loot. We did take casualties, though. A lot of, a lot of people wounded. About 100 men lost, but good enough. Managed to really defeat this army. And now we can make our way over to the castle and start sieging that now. Nice. Clean victory right there. Plenty of kills. 200 kills on my part. And the nice thing is as well, the AI armies are actually getting some kills, which is good. Got like over half our kills, which you would expect me to do. Okay, so it looks like we just had to auto-resolve this one. We ended up crashing, which was annoying, but it's fine. Not the end of the world. Um, so yeah, we'll just carry on with what we've got. Now, after we've won that battle, let's head down here and hopefully get here before Durhart does arrive. I'd really hate for him to beat me here. It doesn't look like he's going to. The only thing that is slightly scary is the fact that he, you know, he might not support me here. They could sally out as my army is still wounded from the previous uh, battle uh, that we literally just fought. So let's besiege it in the hopes that Durhart also supports us, which he does. Boom. There you go. And it seems like the AI is going to surrender with our overwhelming numbers or at least request me to go away oh my lord 400k for me to run away it makes sense you know this is a very rich rich settlement so it's actually kind of awesome that they're trying to pay me to go away and that's why i love these mods however you will have no mercy i want to oh no oh no i did it by mistake <clears throat> yeah, of course. That definitely didn't just happen. Don't worry about it. We are back and uh, yeah. The good thing is as well, we are taking the time to actually build up our own army to full strength. We still have about 200, about sorry, 25 wounded, 200 prisoners still stocked up. This should be a fairly easy battle though, of course, with the support of the, uh, the okay. I take that back. All of a sudden, this doesn't seem like an easy a battle as Durhart does betray me. We might be able to actually recruit. Some of these guys to me? No, it doesn't look like it. A lot of these guys, yeah, wouldn't join me. I guess we could leave. That's annoying. That is annoying. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to chill here. We'll see what comes our way. I'm, I was kind of hoping they would sally out. Like, I'd take this battle 400 versus 800, outnumbered 2 to 1. I think it'd be a pretty close call. For now, though, I think we need but we need siege towers and a battering ram, and we can probably go. If I see another force arriving, 
which it doesn't look like it is. I might then rethink myself, but for now, uh, we're going to chill as is and just kind of look out for any Azurai armies. And also, they will be running out of food fairly soon. Three days left, so that will hopefully quell down the garrison a bit as well. Okay, so we've managed to starve them down to roughly around about 400 soldiers. That should be good enough for now. I am still a little bit cautious of any other soldiers coming our way, but we should be fine. Also, their party morale is dwindling because, of course, they've had nothing to eat for a handful of days. Ours is still sticking around there. I mean, mine is 83. The rest of my parties are 20 and below, so we're going to dive in. This shouldn't be too difficult of a battle and we're just looking for a clean victory here and we of course want to take this settlement as our own and that will give us a nice little setup it will allow us to start usurping uh, territories around us as well the rain is a boring down on this settlement however this should be a fairly easy one to actually end up taking because we have these really good siege towers which just allow us to get a lot of bodies onto the, the battle map as quickly as possible we also do have our bow so i'm going to rush forward and try and snipe off some shots as as these siege towers do continue to get pushed up. Keep in mind as well, it's not like, um, you know, it's not like this settlement is going to be really undefended either. They still outnumber us by a couple hundred soldiers as well. So we do need to be a little bit careful. Uh, this is a great time though for us to actually start leveling up our bow skill. It's been very lacking for some time. So we'll continue just to fire off shot after shot in the hopes uh, that we can maybe get three or four more levels with this bow. And here we go. The boys are arriving. We are now going to push up the siege tower. Again, I wouldn't mind continuing to get a few more bow skills, but almost at 40 bow skills. So that would be perfect. But I think actually just pushing up here with everybody, uh, breaking our way through is going to be really important. If we can even get up here, though, because they are putting up a pretty nice defense and we have a lot of two-handed weapons. So until we actually get out of here uh, and so we can actually swing them overhead and stuff, it's going to be a little bit harder to do. I'm going to just try my best to force these guys up, maybe even pull up my bow and get a little shot straight through the, uh, the, the soldiers right here. Oh, I hit a friendly unit. Keep on trying, though. I think I can thread the needle. No, okay, I'm not going to thread the needle. Okay, after enough pushing, I've managed to make my way out here, which is perfect. Uh, and now we should be able to start striking it. There we go. No, I fell after all of that. Think of the children. Okay, let's revert back to bow skill right now. Because this will allow us to actually start like kind of opening up the defenses. I'm really impressed, though, honestly, with how well the Azerite are doing. Uh, with these arrow skills. By the way, as well, I'm I'm speeding up with RTS camera to shoot this bow because I draw it so slowly. So it's not impossible for you guys to watch. It does seem that we've probably made it through the gatehouse, though. So let's head our way over there. Yeah, we we pushed through there, and there you go. The battering ram has smashed through, and we're currently fighting. Honestly, though, really impressed with the Azerai. They're actually holding this with like low quality soldiers. Uh, you definitely cannot say that they are not fighting hard for their homeland. Okay, I've just been advised by my lawyers to not call this their homeland because, again, we're about to conquer the settlement and then reclaim it ours. So I think in feudal legal court, if I'm about to usurp this title, I probably shouldn't refer to stuff that could be used against me in a court of law. Okay, enough bow skill, time to use the good old axe. I don't jump down. Oh, it's going to be so cool. It's going to jump down, scream Ellen Dean, pretend like I'm Aragon. Uh, not to be, though. But yeah, the rest of the settlement is just being overrun now. Anyone up here for me to slice down? Does it look like it? Can I jump down here? No, I still can't jump down here. How sad. We can jump down here, though, and uh, give our best to try and open up the positions here. Uh, yeah, leveling up this axe is going to be really nice. It does seem like it swings a lot harder than the mace. And against these lower militias, this axe is actually perfect. So I think the axe is the better choice overall. Because, again, we're not going to be fighting. We're going to be fighting a lot of militia units uh, for the most part in these battles. And the, the militia just don't have the armor that, um, like, a mace requires. Obviously, defending a siege is a different story. But, yeah, I think using that is going to be nice. It's a bit harder to use, though, just due to the, the way it is uh, set up. There you go. I think that's going to be the settlement taken. A fairly quick one. We ended up losing 38 brave souls uh, and 34 are wounded. Hopefully, we be saved by our medic. But there we go. The settlement was taken. Again, the fact that we've already defeated their armies in piecemeal in the city, oh, sorry, in the field, is the reason why we could starve these guys out for as long as we, we, we could because there was no reinforcements. Normally, the whole point of these sieges 
like, oh, do I just hold off until reinforcements arrive? Of course, in this situation, there was no aid coming because we'd already smashed the settlements. And of course, I will take the units of these guys upgrade into Manslayers. Um, these are very nice units. And of course, we are going to take the Camel Archers. You know, who does not want a good old Camel Archers? I don't think there's anything here I particularly want. I know I could sell them and stuff, but we just don't need money. We're making like so much cash from our very, very rich cities. Again, we're of course, oh, there's a banner here. Not a banner I'm really interested in. We'll take the food. Uh, we'll take the horses, and I think that's what we're going to leave. I don't think any of this armor is anything I want. Um, I guess we could, could take some more bows or something. Nah, nah, we're just going to leave it for experience. Obviously, we're not. We're kind of not optimizing this whatsoever, but that's fine. We are also going to go ahead and show mercy to the city. I don't want to, like, loot and pillage the city. I don't need the morale. I don't care if people dislike me because of it. I'm mainly just doing that so the city is as prosperous as it can be. And we will, of course, take the th thief because it is our legal right to do so um, as we conquered it. And, of course, make sure we do not forget doing Mr. Mensa Hierarchy claim immediately. So once this has been claimed in a year's time in game, we'll then have access to claiming the rest of these lordships as well. And I believe a lot of these are actually proper city settlements as well. Oh no, I take that back. It's just these three lordships right here. But again, that's absolutely fine. Nothing to worry about whatsoever. Uh, I think that that's fine. So I imagine uh, these guys actually don't massively dislike me, which is good. Okay, let's go to the town and see what we're working with. Of course, we're going to put someone, uh, one of the notables here in power. This guy actually likes me the most. But again, a few of these other people do provide us with a few more bonuses. I think can, yeah, Kanazate, a gang leader... Uh, goes ahead and gives us the most bonuses and she gives security which is really good she also gives loyalty i can't quite see any loyalty there but i think yeah we'll put her in power right off the bat we'll give them um, uh, a handful of money to help with production as well uh, which should be good as soon as the food goes up that should deal with a lot of the other issues we'll culturally assimilate as quickly as possible um and then food wise we're good I guess, yeah, loyalty bonuses. I want to work on that immediately. Uh, and then we can maybe finish off this military ground afterwards. Uh, but for now, that's good. Yeah, look how much money it's making. Oh, that is beautiful. The tax is amazing. Okay, nice. So, yeah, I think we're looking pretty good, right? We own... This entire quarter, again, I would love to have this castle back because that kind of just prevents anyone from coming in and attacking my, my fortresses here. I would love to go down here to the south and take this and I could just have like everything south or west of this mountain. That's fine. I guess our next goal is to move on to this castle and like this city. I don't know. Again, it depends on how far I want to push because again, having a smaller kingdom is going to be better when I go independent. I think the goal now is to go independent. And I think having a smaller kingdom is going to be easy to defend because we're going to have to be defeating armies with Durhart sending of like 1,800 men because I'm not giving up these cities either. Okay, I think that's fine. Uh, so let's head back to our... Um, uh, first off, let's go obviously give over any recruits and anything. The cultural simulation is going to get underway, which is good. Let's head back. Oh yeah, also, something I didn't mention as well, is we did also hit 250 leadership. So now we have an additional 10 party size, which is great. And also more clan parties. Annoyingly, I'm finding it, I, I just don't know what I need to do for these clan parties to go ahead and knight, basically knight people. I'm really struggling with, with figuring it out. I'm not sure if it's bugged. If anybody in the chat knows how to do it in Banner Kings, please let me know. Um, so yeah, about your position, I would like to, I'd like you to serve as a knight, which is good. We can't offer them a lordship and we can't offer them a stated property. I don't really know why we can't do that. Um, if we take a look at it, we are, if we go to, we have full peerage. So that's something. If we go to the kingdom tab and we take a look at the laws, there's nothing here that prevents us from knighting people, right? Noble duties. I don't think affects us in any way. Um, slavery is not an issue. Surf duty. It is fine. Drafting. It is fine. There's nothing here that I don't think suggests that policy wise. I don't think there's anything here again that prevents us um, this could be a really good law to pass, though. Tier 5 clans can lose one influence per day. We're making a million. Um, and we increase our party size by 40. Let's propose that. And let's do it. Hell yeah. That's really nice. We just increased our party size by 40. Obviously, they have as well. But I don't care. 40 extra elite men is absolutely amazing. Fugal inheritance. Nice. We've got noble retinues. Nice. I'm a big fan of that. If we take a look at it. We should go from 240 to like 280. Ah, oh, that's incredible. 
Okay, so I've returned back to uh, to my main castle across the sea. And I think we're going to go ahead and build ourselves a bit more of a uh, an army right here. So we're obviously going to sort these guys out and just go down, taking the best soldiers. Basically, anything tier 5 and above can join me. Uh, look how much Helios Guard we're rocking with as well, which is nice. I guess what we'll do as well is we will leave a little bit of extra space so we can maybe recruit some more uh, drilled militia. Uh, maybe we can also recruit some minor soldiers if we go, I don't know, like 30 of them and oh no, these aren't the ones i want that's not what i wanted to do i wanted to go to um i just wasted so much money we're rich bro it doesn't matter is it is it forbury i can never remember how i get them soldiers is it banner kings yes banner kings take action and local mercenaries uh yes oh and because it is now uh because it is now valandian culture we can now recruit these so we can recruit 28 knightly order mercenaries to 40k Sounds good enough to me. Did we get them? Did it, did it give it over to us? Uh, I assume it did. Yeah, so all the novices, which are these guys, and then they just upgrade into elite horsemen, which I am very much here for. These guys will uh, do some pretty good stuff, even if their stats do kind of suck. Okay, maybe we don't go for those. The way as well to just bunch by a bunch of uh, garrison troops as well is just by filling up your formation uh, that way. So we're not going to grab probably the rest of the Valandu and Spearman, and then we're going to leave that for infantry. 110 infantry in our army, I think, is absolutely amazing. Missile-wise, we do have a handful of missiles to begin with. Just six of these bad boys, so we do need a bunch more, but luckily we have another 37 of them right there. We'll take the Valandu and Marksman, the Sharpshooters, the Black Guard, uh, the Apex, the Siege Warriors, the Dead Eyes as well. Is that good enough for our missiles? Again, I don't want to go heavy on missiles. Let's grab all this cavalry and then we'll see afterwards uh, what we're looking like. Because again, all the cavalry is going to be super, super key. Uh, and then I guess I'll fill whatever's left with some high tier crossbows and some archers. I mean, I guess just infantry. We'll, we'll take some more infantry. Maybe I'll go get some more Helios Guard to level up. So I've just been looking around, spent like the last 10 minutes just trying to figure out this whole knighthood thing. I think it's just coming down to the fact that we have to just wait until uh, our usurpations actually do go ahead and go through over on these settlements. I think I would be able to do it if I actually owned this castle, but because Delhart took it and then didn't give it back to me, even though it was legally mine, uh, you know, it is what it is. That's, I guess one of the reasons we are going to go ahead and uh, run away from him. But yeah, I have this option. I don't have this option on any other settlements and basically it says i can grant this to someone but it has to be legally mine and this is the only place i can do it but i don't own it and that, i think that's one of the reasons why i can't gift anything because technically i don't own any of this yet we're, we're, we're in the process of usurping it it should only be a matter of time until that does go through um as we have been playing for some time now but again we still just have to continue waiting so i think what we're going to do is we're going to get we're going to head over to the uh the Landian territory uh sorry the azari territory and just continue our war against them um try and maybe take a couple more castles ideally actually it would be amazing oh 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 a rebel faction has arisen okay well first things first we have to go put down that rebellion uh which should honestly sort out the majority of the uh yeah i should sort out the majority of the public order issues once you kill a rebellion the settlement is pretty docile and it should be quite easy only 200 defenders and as i was saying it'd be nice if they took this i would be more than happy to go down and uh conquer that afterwards uh for now though we of course have to go reclaim back our settlement and that should not be too hard luckily some extra reinforcement armies arrived and this will just allow us to to re to, to auto resolve this one with very minimal losses i think i lost a single soldier right there Oh, and we can also get a few soldiers here. And the only annoying, like really annoying thing, honestly, is the fact that we now no longer actually, you know, our garrison or the work we'd put in now just does go away. But I guess it is what it is. Uh, you know, in the midst of war, that is the type of stuff. And we, of course, are taking it. We need to make sure we keep this. Okay, so we still actually keep our money there, which is nice. The loyalty was the issue, but I think that should be sorted um as soon as we go there and again it's just mainly the the cultural assimilation as well needs to get fired off so let's uh do this let's do that and then just yeah culturally assimilate uh, and that should be fine again we are getting some friendship and and so on and so on with that i guess we could also leave a bit of a garrison so actually something we could do here is due to the fact that we have the money take action recruit local mercenaries i'm not actually sure what type of good quality soldiers these guys have uh, but yeah, we could just recruit a bunch and stick them all in the garrison, which might not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get Desert Colt and let's maybe recruit... 
um, like free groups of them. Again, a lot of money, but we are so rich. Uh, do we also need to usurp this as well? No, luckily we are already usurping it. Perfect. Uh, again, as soon as we can start making knights, we are going to be popping off. We're going to be able to field armies of thousands. It's going to be amazing. It's going to cost us a lot. And that's really the reason as well um, why we have so much money right now is because realistically by this point, I should have multiple armies out there uh, going ahead and consuming my cash. But because we don't have that and because we have all these settlements, but no armies to give them to, it, it, you know, it kind of just steamrolls into me having a lot of cash. Um, that's just so cool, right? Like the fact, you know, like everything is just connected, like... At this point, we should be having armies uh, and always party. We can have seven parties. That would destroy my cash stack, right? But because we don't, right? We don't have them because we haven't held the settlements long enough. And because we haven't held the settlements long enough, we have loads of money because of it. I just love how everything's like connected. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. It does to me. And it, yeah, it sounds absolutely awesome. God, I love banneking so much when it's, when it's good. Uh, so let's just hand over all these soldiers. Actually, help out the garrison a little bit. Um, and there are a few actually good units here as well. What? Let's uh, grab them if we can. Uh, so there's many archers. We'll grab all the Valandian marksmen and I guess the desert immortals as well. Yeah, let's do that. So a few more archers than maybe I'd need. Oh, let's access the, uh, the Azariah armory. Let's see. So they have good horses here. Really good horses, actually. Uh, what's your most expensive thing? I imagine it's an armor. No, it's a banner. Movement speed. Is that like, is that like movement speed... So that, this is my question. Is this movement speed on the battle map? Probably. But it's 10%. So it is a lot. And weapon accuracy. That's not. That's 8%. That's not really that good. Uh, what's my current one? My current one's melee damage taken. Let's stick that on. Let's see what that does. Let's see what that does. Also, what's this armor look like? I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, not as cool as our one, though. But God, we have a lot of helmets as well, don't we? Yeah, we have a lot of helmets. Uh, let's put that back. So 50k for that nothing else takes my fancy what about weapons Do you have any good weapons stuck in here nothing dramatically exciting even if there are some cool long swords some some scimitars and stuff cool we'll just take that then oh we gained the trade skill for that nice okay cool um okay nice so we've taken that i did see they, they were moving an army around they managed to reclaim that the baron took that which is nice Okay, I mean, now really, we are just simply wait, doing a waiting game. Um, I'm going to keep this army afloat because I need... And they're going to go in there as well and recruit and prisoners. Okay, we're, we're besieging our homeland. Let's head back there then. Uh, we, oh, we actually need food really badly. Annoyingly, though, the AI would have just eaten it all, um, which sucks. Okay, we do need to head back there, though, fairly quickly. Again, it has a decent garrison, so I'm not too worried. But definitely something we can't leave undefended for too long. Let's grab the water as well. Uh, yeah, our food supplies Ooh, are looking a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie. But let's... Yeah, we, we cannot afford... Okay, okay, okay. That's a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie. 1,300 men. I mean, we have 1,100 in the garrison. The militia is numbering 900. I'm just a little bit scared on how much food they have left. Yeah, they are losing food. Uh, so they have about six days of food left. Uh, I mean, we could honestly wait for them to actually engage and try and fight for it to whittle down their numbers. Or we could just say, let's do this. My 500 elite brave men against your 30. Are they already attacking? Or not? No, doing they are. Yeah, we could say my elite soldiers against yours and just go for it. But that will be for next episode. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think we should do. Should we try and whittle down their numbers or just put our army to the test? 500 of Valandia's finest. And I say Valandia, we've got a lot of Imperial soldiers in our army. But hey, we're a multicultural cultural army and we are uniting Caradia under the Dragoncock banner. So if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to drop a like and a comment down below. I really appreciate it. If you made it to this point in the video and you haven't already subscribed, please do so. We are closing in on 20, uh, sorry, 210,000 subscribers, which would be awesome to hit over the next couple of months. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching.